All right, we are live. Let's what? go in here. What? Yes, what? sir. What? I told you. What Don't just happened? What just happened? We are uh -oh. there. Man, I got notifications and all that stuff going on, man. Oh, me? man. How hmm. am I supposed to share this without notifications? I'm telling you, man. What, what will we do without notifications, man? I guess I I'm going to reload. Let me see if I can share this thing, man. Will it let me share this thing or what? I man? think so. I think you can share it to to all your all your spots. You think so? Yeah, share it to all your spots. See, tell people. Tell Let's people see what the deal on. is, man. We just going while people are joining up, man. While people, are, I know people have been waiting anxiously. Um, while people are doing that, man, I'm just gonna I'm just right, gonna see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can hit share on my screen, man, so I can share this on my timeline. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, share it to all your spots, man. Tell people. Tell Let's people see what the deal on. is, man. We just going to right. people are joining up, man. While people, I know people have been waiting anxiously. Um, all right, so we got it shared. I'm just going to see if... <clears throat> I'm hitting All right, share, welcome, man. welcome, welcome, everyone. Wait, 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 let me, let me, let me share our minds, man. When do yours, do yours. Yeah, hold on, man. I'm going to share our minds, man. <laughs> Let's see what the deal is, man. I'm going to share on my page. Share on your page. I'm going to do hit, another share. Yeah. Post over there. I'm, we're just going to hit share everywhere. Matter of fact, if you're watching this right now, you hit share. Yeah. I'm just going to make this a share-a-thon. I'm just going to share this all over the place, man. I'm going to hit some share here. I wanted to see if I can... Um, let's see. That's my... I got my public page <laughs> sharing now, man. It's, uh, it's on like Donkey Kong, man. So, yeah, we're just doing a share-a-thon right here before we get yeah. fired up. You know what I'm right, saying? We gotta we go. make sure we gotta make sure we uh share on my timeline. Bomb diggity. There we go. Oh and that was yeah. confusing. I had two 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 Kirk voices going yeah. on at the same time in my head as I'm sharing. I had, I had to mute one of mine. Yeah, you don't want two Kirk voices <laughs> going on in your head. The one that's going on in my head is scary enough, man. You don't want two of them. That could be pretty daggone scary. I, I had right. two my eyes rolled back in my head. I had, I had to hurry up and click it. <laughs> Boom. All right, now I'm back. You ready, man? Are you, is you ready? I, I is ready? Is you ready? I is ready. Well, I tell you what, we we interrupt your normally boring timeline scrolling to bring you the Mad Men of Masculine. I am Kirk M. Samuels, the Intimacy Incubator. That's right, and I am Jason B. Kendrick, the Connection Catalyst. And we are the Mad Men of Masculinity. Oh, right. yeah, baby. We're just real right. men, have real conversations for you. And tonight, are we man, real? Are we real tonight? Is we're this real. real? This like, is is real. This, are we getting real? I probably like, shouldn't have worn my white shirt tonight because it's gonna get are, filthy in here. So, dude, I'm wearing uh, my pajamas right now, man. Just, I'm just ready my to go. Pajamas right now, dude. I'm telling you, so, we're getting real tonight. So, so, uh, ladies what are we and talking gentlemen, about, dude? What, what are you talking uh, about? for for those of you in the cheap seats and all of you around the world, um, Mr. Kirk M. Samuels did to me again, but this What'd time he told me what the su what the subject was gonna be. And then because of my reaction, I get to introduce it because <laughs> I was not excited initially. Because we're man. talking about submission tonight. And Ooh. I don't know about you, but submission is not one of those words that makes me all warm and fuzzy. Dude, wait a minute. So, submission, you talking like gag balls and handcuffs or what, man? What, what, what kind of submission are we talking about, man? Well, no. Where are we going with this whole thing? The uh, what, what what came I up to me? When I just you, said that. Did I just say I know, gag balls. You said that out loud. I'm, yeah. I'm glad my mom don't have Facebook. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you what, mom, mom she's gonna be calling you. Somebody's thing, gonna tell you. Somebody's yeah. gonna tell mom, and she, you're gonna get that phone call. Man, please don't don't let nobody. Don't tell my mom <laughs> I take gag balls on Facebook Live. That ain't cool at all. So yeah, so when when he brought up and he's like, let's do a submission. I'm like, um, that doesn't mm, uh, mm, because in my world, in my mind relationships being in live is all about freedom mm -hmm. and so when i heard submission i'm like that sounds like servitude or mm -hmm. there being a hierarchy mm -hmm. but you know as the conversation went on i'm like okay i i see where we're going with this but i have i have to let y'all know i was not excited about this topic mm. but we're here we're going to do this and we're going to we're going to you know flush it out and flesh it out or flush flesh whichever one it is yeah. we're going to do something with it and try to open this up and get some get some clarity around it. So you asked me to do this, my man. When you talk about submission, what did you mean? What were you thinking? Ooh, we're gonna flush it out or flush it down, one of the two. Um <laughs> man went see <laughs> I'm just like I'm I'm out there tonight, man. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit live tonight, man. Um 
But uh, I'm just kind of in one of the moods. I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, All right. But uh, actually, I'll tell you why right now, because I just got out of the bathtub, man. I had me oh, some. Oh, nice. Get you some red wine, a little bubble bath. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't do the vino tonight, man. I did okay. do, I dimmed the lights and I had some music going. So I just, you know, I just kind of had the, some, you talk about submission. My head submitted to my heart tonight, man. My nice. heart was like, hey, we need some. Anyhow, sidebar. A little self-love. A little self-love. Ain't nothing wrong with self-love. Love of self ain't good. Self-love is good. Anyhow. All right. Um, to me, the idea of submission, I think culturally speaking, a lot of people have a, have a negative um, a negative feeling, like it has a negative connotation in our society. And I think that's because the idea has been abused for so long. Um, I, I think the notion of submission has become in our culture something of, you know, power or not even power, but uh, but worth and value mm -hmm. and who's in charge and all this other kind of stuff. and. I just think like a lot of things, it, it's been abused. And when something gets abused, it, it just becomes a negative thing. So to me, the idea of submission is when I, when I serve you from my heart and when I put your needs over mine from a heart of genuine service to one another. Um, and, and so I think when that's done from a good place, then it's a fantastic thing, especially in the area of relationship. Um, that, but that could be our, our submission to our purpose. That could be, but even submission specifically, if we're talking relationship to to one another, I think it be it can be a very powerful thing. So, uh, but yeah, I think culturally speaking, it's become a negative thing. But, but I think if we flip the script, and I think if we look at it like, you know, like man, this is an opportunity to serve from my heart, where I get to take my crown off, and I get to serve somebody that means something to me um, out of love and out of my heart, and I think. I think it can be a very powerful thing, even when it is an exchange of power. Because yeah. if you think about that, if I if I if I metaphorically speaking, lower myself to lift you up, then I am by default almost exchanging power with you. And, and it becomes, you know, a release of that whole thing. So I, I think I think a lot of it comes down to just that how we look at the word and yeah. and, and, and our experience with that. Why, why did yeah. you have a problem with it? Well, I mean, for me, submission was always about the dominance thing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's from military background, martial arts background, but, you know, if you get submitted, that means you tap out, you're done, you've been dominated. So I, for me, I always feel like surrender mm -hmm. kind of encompasses what we're talking about. And it could be whether it's surrender or submission, it's basically mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my happiness, my health, my things are, are my responsibility. However, when I get into relationship, there is it's it's about surrendering to the relationship. It's about surrendering my control, my power, whatever, in that healthy way, and about in service. Because mm -hmm. you know, it's and it's like for for us guys, surrendering to our purpose or submitting to our purpose. If we don't have that purpose, if we don't, if we're not living for something greater than ourselves, mm -hmm. then we 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 lack conviction, we lack courage, we lack that that backbone, the uh the, if you you know forgive my French, the erectness of the masculine. We, Ooh, we I like we, that. We lack that without the surrendering to our purpose or submitting mm -hmm. to our purpose. And so, yeah, I mean, that was my initial reaction. But coming into this, thinking about how we submit to our partner, we submit to the relationship, we submit to that that greater that greater purpose, that greater being, which is mm -hmm. the relationship. It is the family. It is the love yeah. that we are creating and, and growing together. So. Yeah. Where I always go is this has to be a mutual 100% in both sides are submitting to each other, submitting to the the greater goal that you have the same goal. You know, you have the goal yeah. of this relationship, of this family, of this purpose, whatever that is for you, and you submit to that mm -hmm. together. It's when mm -hmm. one is 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 submitting and the other one's not, and you get that mm -hmm. imbalance. And I think that comes into the control thing. I think yeah. that's where that's where I had some problems with it because I mean, and you, like you said, it's just the word. It just I have negative connotations to it, right. but when I look at it from that that lens of purpose, then it makes more sense, and it, and it yeah. does. We do need. I mean, that's the thing. What are we looking for? But connection and to be able to be with somebody that we are one hundred percent vulnerable with, and to be vulnerable mm -hmm. is to submit your armor, to submit mm -hmm. your defenses, and to mm -hmm. be one hundred percent open and real with somebody else. So I think. Mm -hmm. And I feel that really, if you're both submitting to each other, then you have a chance, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and I, and of course, I mean, it's, 
it's a work in progress. Sometimes one submits and then the other submits, and sometimes yeah. it's you get triggered, what whatnot. But yeah, the submission thing, I think, when looked at through the the lens of love, when looked at through the lens of purpose and service, makes total sense. Mm -hmm. But when yeah. looked at through like control or power, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's where a lot of folks probably would go with that, like submission. Yeah. What? Yeah. Or they might go with S and M, like you talked about earlier. I don't know. Hey man, you know I ain't hating on nobody. If that you know, if that's what you know. If, you, if that's your ball gag, I mean, your 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 thing, <laughs> dude. You said ball gag, man, on Facebook Live. That ain't cool at all. Mad men of masculinity, JBK, KMS. We're talking about the the night, the idea, the notion of submission. Um, and by the way, if you have any comments, we'd love for this to be a dialogue. We'd love uh -huh. for you to you know to let us know what you think. Um, let us know what you agree with, what you disagree with. We don't you know, proclaim to be the end all be all of, of authority and opinion. And so we'd love to get your feedback and absolutely go share other stuff and, and let us know what you and, and other people think. I, I almost wonder, based on what you just said, I almost wonder if um, truly ship without submission slash surrender, like committed to a relationship without that. I would mm. say no. And you know, no, and you know, you know, most of our, a lot of our, probably most of the feedback we get, but a lot of our audience is women. So a lot of women have really issues yes. with that. But especially, so from a yep. from a man perspective, speaking, can we really be in committed relationship without submission? I mean, the the mm. the, the higher level answer is no. Now mm. I know, as being human beings, there's phases and levels and things to that you mm. know we go through those phases and levels in dating we go through those phases and levels while we're getting to know each other like is this somebody i can trust and trust is built one little you know small acts at a time but yes to you know to answer your question simply yes i mean you must be submitted you must be surrendered to that greater entity and to get to the energetics of it one of the things we that we should all keep in mind when you come into connection, partnership, relationship with somebody else, there's you, your single energy in essence, there's her single energy in essence. But then once you come together, there's that third entity, which mm. is the relationship. It is, it's the, um, us. It's the us. And it that, goes from me to we. It goes from me to we, that's right. And, and that's what you're surrendering to. Mm. And if you're not surrendering to the us, to the we, to the relationship, then mm. you're two people competing without mm -hmm. the common goal and mm -hmm. it's that common goal and that's what we're surrendering to so to put it in maybe more of a more palatable way you are not surrendering to your partner you're surrendering to mm -hmm. the relationship to the partnership mm -hmm. so, it's, so it's a mutual surrender you're both you know white flags all around mm -hmm. you know olive branches you're mutually surrendering to the relationship mm -hmm. yeah wow man that, that's pretty that's pretty deep man i you know, I know I've had this conversation with other people and, and a lot of people um, or I've had this conversation with people that um, have even brought up like, uh, I mean, whether you whether you, I guess, believe it or not. It, I've had this conversation from even a biblical perspective, yeah. like, well, that's why I don't you know, I'm not no sort of some whatever. I'm not some weak, whatever. And bibl even biblically speaking, the idea of submission is a mutual thing. It's mutual yeah. submission. Now, when there's talk of husband and wives and headship and, and that kind of stuff, that comes down to just flow from top to bottom um, spiritually and, and that sort of thing. But the idea of submission is a mutual thing. And so to your point, when we are submitting, we're doing it mutually to the thing. Yeah. Um, I Let me just I, I gave my daughters, at least my older daughters, a heads up that I might mention them tonight. Um, I won't mention them by name, but I will say that. Um, I mean, of course, duh, their pictures are behind me all the time. Um, right there. Right but, you know, as a father, I submit to that. Yeah. As a father, I, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a, an authority figure to them. I'm a father. But at the same time, you know, anybody that's a parent knows that part of being a parent is submitting to your kids and to their well-being and to their health and their growth and their development, all those kinds of things. But so my, but my point is to, my, to, to them, to my kids. I would advise any one of my three daughters not to marry a man she cannot submit to. I would advise my son 
not to submit to a woman he cannot submit to. If you cannot submit to that person, that means there's not absolute trust. That means you're not sure about their motivations. That means you don't feel completely safe with putting your being inside of their hands. And so as far as I'm concerned, a person should not get married unless they are comfortable with the idea of submitting to the other person because that involves trust and, and intimacy and, and connection and all those kinds of things. But that would be my advice even to my kids. And truth be told, their mom, when their mom married me, <laughs> She should not have submitted to me. I was not sub submission worthy. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to be submission worthy in order for somebody. And so, yeah, hindsight being 2020, I'll own it. I mean, the 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 reason, at least my at least their their mom, um, the reason she had an issue with submission at our at our wedding is because she shouldn't have been submitted to me. I was not healthy. I was not, I was living for me. Yeah. Um, and and so you know. But I would recommend people in general, singles, including myself going forward, to not submit to anyone or not marry anyone that you can't say I'm submitted to that person. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that the all in. I mean, mm -hmm. why? And I think that's may, maybe it's our instant gratification society, our social media society, but we're not, none of us have become committed. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, I, you know, I believe that the old fashioned kind of, masculine feminine um way of being from the past where marriage was a big part of that because it was needed you know you live till mm -hmm. 40 or 50 you need to have as many kids as you could because they weren't all going to make it mm -hmm. to work the farm and everything else but now mm -hmm. we're living two to three times longer than that mm -hmm. and so all of our relating is is, is changing you know how yeah. we relate stuff however yeah it still comes back to the same point when you are committing to somebody, whether it's for one day, one year, or a lifetime, are you willing to surrender to that person? Mm -hmm. And are they willing to surrender to? Are you willing to mutually surrender to the relationship to the mm -hmm. to to that higher calling? I mean, like yeah. to your point, when you have a family, that is your higher purpose. Mm -hmm. When you have kids, they are your higher purpose. You are surrendered to them. They are the ones you are working, living for. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if if you're not, if you don't feel like this is the person, like this is the woman that I want to, you know, bow at her feet and this is, and give her my life, then mm -hmm. it may not be the woman for you. And yeah. vice versa, ladies, if this is not a man that you want to give everything to, mm -hmm. but that's the thing. It's, it takes time. Mm -hmm. And I know, I mean, I struggle with this too. You know, the, the instant gratification, you want what you want now. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes hard to go, wait, wait, I mean, let me take the time to to mm -hmm. find out if this person is submission worthy, if this person is surrender worthy, if if I if we meet on those levels, mm -hmm. and that does take time. I mean, I've seen folks that, you know, they fall into it, they they get all puppy loved and all starry eyed, and then within a year or two, they're like still not sure, mm -hmm. they're still not hundred percent committed. Yeah. But now you're married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then they've done that. Yeah. Been there, I think, that. You know, you, you learn, we all learn, but I think, especially for me, the way I feel about it, I want to be in that space with that person where I'm wide open, I'm fully surrendered, I'm fully vulnerable, and it's it's no BS, it's, it's, we're 100 with each other the whole time, There's there's it's not about hiding or manipulating or the the little lies to not upset my significant other or whatever. Mm -hmm. but about being 100% transparent. We we want to be in relationship with somebody that we're surrendered to, they're surrendered to us, they're, mm -hmm. we're both surrendered to the relationship, and mm -hmm. there's no crap about it. I mean, there's yeah. we're, we're not playing those little games. We're being straight up with each other, being 100% ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I've never understood about so many marriages I've seen. You game together, and then you gave up. There's no yeah. more growth. There's no more communication. It's like, I've got you under contract now. Now I don't have to try anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not the yeah. same thing. <laughs> and, and again, I think if we, if, if there is a woman watching or a female watching, if you're, if you're single and or in a relationship, I seriously think, and this is advice from a guy, I seriously think that you should not for sure marry another man that you can't say, you know, my heart is submitted to this man and, and you know, I'm, um, I, I mean, I can submit to him. Um, you should not. I mean, because to me, that says that you don't feel completely safe. And I found that 
um, talking with a lot of women that it's not necessarily a foreign thing, but it all comes down to the number one need for women. Mm -hmm. Safety. Yep. If she feels safe, then she's a lot more open to that. Now, from a guy perspective, when a man is living for purpose, then I think it's easier for women to submit to him because he's submitting to something greater than himself. Yeah. And I think whether that purpose is kids or family, something that's that's beautiful or making the world a better place or whatever, um, I think it's a lot easier for a woman to submit to a man who submits to something greater than himself. But in any case, from a man perspective, um, wow, Lisa, Lisa says if uh, I don't have my glasses on, um, if, you if you find you are not able to submit, it is a true identification. Something is missing. Surrender yeah. requires trust and feeling safe. Yes, Lisa. High five you to Lisa. Teacher, girl. Put it right up there. Put it, come on, Lisa. Put it up to the screen. I, I want you. Put it up to the screen. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Indeed. I mean, that's, that's beautiful stuff. I mean, I, I think when you find that, that happy, safe, comfortable place, man, I think, um, you know, I, I think, I think it's easier to exchange that, but I do think that it's the man's lead in mm -hmm. order to submit, um, it, to submit in whole healthy ways. And again, I'm not talking about above and below. I'm not talking about who's more important. I'm not talking about, um, you know, any of that. I'm not talking about in an unhealthy, abusive kind of way. I'm talking about in a in a safe, secure, foundational kind of way. That's good stuff, Lisa. Yeah. Man, Lisa is awesome. Girl, you, you better go so with your bad self. That that brings up mm. good point. So this this is not feudal Japan. We do not. Um, but live in, you know, in the I, old time. I, I I I do think. Um, Did I lose you? No, there you are. We may be having some technical difficulties, Quirk. So while we're waiting on him. Um, it brings up a good point talking about the, the main needs of the masculine and feminine. Um, he's back now. Good. So mm -hmm. for the feminine safety, security and presence, gentlemen, write that down. Pay mm -hmm. attention. All of her issues will be derived from one of those three. Mm -hmm. If she does not feel safe with you, which means physical safety, like protected, like feel safe. You ain't getting nothing if she don't feel safe. Nothing. If she does not feel secure and secure, if you, We've had this conversation. We've all experienced this conversation one time or another. When she asks you, where is this going? She doesn't feel secure in the relationship. Mm -hmm. She's trying to find security. And mm -hmm. then presence. Mm -hmm. Every time she's like, where are you right now? I'm sitting mm -hmm. right here. No, you're not. That's presence she's looking for. Yeah. Now, ladies, for the men, and each man will have his different versions of them, but they kind of chunk down to these three. Respect. A man needs to feel respected a sense of control we need to feel like whether we are or we aren't the king of our castle we have some control in our lives we have some something that is ours to control or be the king of mm -hmm. and um where did the other one go why is it always the third one that flies away um respect it'll come back to me we'll come back to that but anyway i think i think men i think men need to feel um accepted i mean i, I think well that's I think definitely the core feel, i think that's they need that to feel accepted for 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 who they are you know i mean you had that great that great post um you know man's question is am i lovable the woman's question is am i enough um yeah. but uh but yeah i mean I, I think when those things are present it makes it a whole lot easier to submit it makes a whole lot easier to surrender and and a guy you know, by I think by our core, by our nature, we don't have a problem. I mean, for us, that's part of our purpose. I mean, part of our purpose, I mean, you know, part of our purpose is to serve. Part of our purpose is to sacrifice. And that's, and, and that's so, the third thing. The third need for men is purpose. Boom. A sense of respect, a, a sense of control and sense of purpose. Is why. All right, Lisa, that. you said needed. We need to know what, what does needed mean. I, I don't know. You said needed. Um uh, oh no! Uh, she, gotta, she she was asking if that was the third. third oh, oh, that was the third. Thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, that that's valid. That's valid in there too. Um, well, we we're, we're human beings. We all need to feel special. We all need to feel yeah. needed. I had this conversation with a friend of mine doing a Reiki share today. That you know, yes, if you look at Course in Miracles or if you look at higher spiritual thinking, specialty mm -hmm. or special relationships is where the ego gets in, and it's all about specialness. Mm -hmm. It's not really about love. However, we are dichotomies. And mm -hmm. so as human beings, we need to feel special. We need to feel needed. That's part of it. Yeah. And so where, and I think that's really part of that surrender and that submission is, is this your special person that you want to surrender to? There's somebody who has served you like, 
are you in partnership together walking side by side and that's where mm -hmm. i was going before it's not feudal japan we don't our women do not walk 10 spaces behind us we do not walk 10 paces behind them we're side by side this is a partnership mm -hmm. and so you're not submitting in a less than way you're submitting to the, the higher purpose and walking in together in tandem yeah man and i think when you do when you're able to walk side by side like that man i think it's a beautiful thing i like i said i've had so i've had conversations um you know with women where i'm surprised to find that a lot of women are okay and really want to gravitate to the idea of submission even from a sexual perspective mm -hmm. um you know that and i think that's almost you know even when you bring in sexuality um into that whole thing i think that is almost a safety of handing over power of handing yeah. over control or handing you know women today man they got to make everything happen all day long in work in family in themselves and all this other kind of stuff and i think i think in a healthy situation it's freeing for them yeah. to be able to come into the presence of healthy masculinity and to give that up and to not have to make decisions and to not say here's what we're going to do and to have a man say you know we're going to do is we're going to do that again, even if it is in a sexual perspective of like, you know what, I'm not going to, eh, what do you, eh, what do you like? Not like, look, girl, come here, you yeah. know, <laughs> whatever. Um, that, that was a weird face. That was um, a little weird, but we, now we know weird. what your old face looked like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, anyhow. Um, but that brings I, up a great point because, yes, that's the epitome of superwoman syndrome is feeling like you got to do it all being in your masculine all day feeling like you're being in control and that's why so many of the ladies we talk to are so frustrated because of nice guy syndrome and of so many men not living in their purpose not sure who they are not and of course we, we've been raised for generations now by women so we're men raised by women who have been trained to look to the feminine for our validation and so it's harder for us to stand in our purpose and our power and say this is who i am this is what i'm doing you want to come along or not yeah. Because we've been raised by our moms who want us to be nice, caring men. And yeah. I love them. They did the best they could. They're not men. And right. that's what we're, we, me, Kirk, and all the people we work with are, are attempting to and working on healing. Yeah. Is getting those men so that, ladies, you can surrender, so that you can drop your guard, so that you can take that breath and sit back and relax because you know he's got it. Yeah. So that's what we're working towards. So help us out, yeah. share. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, when you, you know, when, when women have to spend so much time in their masculine mm. and especially when that's kind of, it's a stretch. I, I mean, it's gotta be, a, I'm not a woman, never been one. Not every man can, but, uh, did it, uh, did it, did it, did it you, you me, brought me back. Um, yeah, you did a little click. You, maybe we had a hiccup. I don't know, but, um, back. yeah, transport <laughs> shake and bake. But I think, you know, when we're able to offer that from a healthy perspective as men, then we're able to give women a break from carrying that masculine mantle and we're able to let them just let go and just be as opposed to do like they always, you know, like yeah. like they quite often have to be. But so, yeah, that, that's kind of a surprise. A lot of us men can can kind of glean off of. And you mentioned the superwoman thing. Yeah. And so you got something coming up that I want to come back to in a second. But yeah. if we line up on the runway here, what can we um you know what what can we what can we leave folks with in the idea of i say submission you say surrender but what what can we leave folks with here with just the notion of that well i mean number one if this person that you're with if you think this is the one but you don't feel you can trust them you don't feel you can surrender or submit to them or to the, the greater you know relationship then that you know there's if you don't feel that hell yes then it's probably a hell no so that's, you know, just keep yeah. it simple. I know I've talked myself into all kinds of holes and, and crazy things where it's like, yeah, but she's close or her butt's feel nice. Mm -hmm. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. So, you know, that, that, yeah. that, that's it. You will know. And I think that's one of those truths that even if it's not forever, you will know that this is the person you want to submit to. Even if it's, if it's for six months, yeah. a year or 10 years or a lifetime, you, you will know. Yeah. yeah. So. What would you I, like I would say that man, I, I would say that that indicator of whether this is the one or a long term thing is whether or not your heart can submit to that person. And again, in, in the, the mindset of. The mindset or the picture of I am living in such a way with someone that when they wake up in the morning, 
and they look at or think about me, their first thought is, how can I serve this person? And when I wake up in the morning and when I roll over and look at or think about them, my first thought is, how can I serve this person? And when two people are living like that in relationship, then you have mutual submission. And then you're not worrying about meeting your own needs because somebody else is, is already on that job for you. And I think that is the beautiful place that we need to get to in, in the area of relationship, in the area of, of submission. That kind of picture of submission is I want to I want to live my life in, in a way that, that I am serving this person from my heart and I'm able to put their needs before mine. And so, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I think that's the mindset that we need to get to in the in, in terms of submission. But, yeah, like I said, I would advise my daughters not to marry a man that you cannot submit to. And I would I would advise my son not to marry a woman that you could not submit to. I mean, that that's just pure. That that person is not safe. Yeah. And when we're talking about this, we're not talking about, you know, codependent. This is mm -mm, interdependent. Mm -mm. This is right. you are coming together in reliance on each other. You're co-working. This is not mm -hmm. codependence. And so, mm -hmm. yes, when you break it down to brass tacks, and I know sometimes it sounds contradictory, your happiness is your responsibility. However, being human, being in service to somebody you love will make mm -hmm. you more happy than yeah. anything else. And if you're both in service to each other, then you're, yeah. I mean, there's happiness in, in bottled up right there, bottled up and sell it. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, some of that submission is inside. Like I said, tonight, my heart, my head submitted to my heart. My heart said, we need, I want to take a bath. How about some quiet music and some dim lights? Let's take a bath real quick. We got time, you know, uh -huh. and my head was like, no, we got Facebook live. I want to get this. I want to get that. I haven't even eaten tonight dinner. You know, but but my head submitted to my heart. And there are times when my heart will submit to my head. So some of that even happens um, on, on the inside, man. You got That's something right. coming up, JBK. Yeah, I, do, I, do. You got I was going to say that, that you've got on the calendar, man. You got something that you are about to drop. This is a this is something that's going on, man. You're about to change the world. Yeah. Well, after I talk about this, we're going to talk about the other thing we're doing together. So on April 4th, come to the Unity are you Temple there? from 12 to. Yeah, I'm still here. I think you're I think you're clicking out. You might have some Wi-Fi issues, but I don't know. And yeah. <laughs> I don't I know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. 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 I can see. I what do you see got? What do you got coming up, man? What? So yeah, I'm doing the Mr. Nice Guy and Superwoman Summit with Laura Cheadle, who is going to be my Superwoman for that event, April 4th at the Unity Temple. If you go on to Meetup.com and type in uh, Mr. Nice Guy and Superwoman Group. That'll pop up and the events on there. I'll actually and I'll add a link to it in the comments here so you can look it up uh, on your own as well. But that's April 4th from like hey, at, at least on, on my end, on my end, man. I don't know if you can hear me on my end. There was a hiccup in that. Can you can you say where, where folks? can? Yeah, I think I think it might be your wife. I would. But, can you hear uh, me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, so yeah, I will, I'll, I'll put if you in, can, uh, say, uh, there was a hiccup of for sure on my end. I don't know what what uh, was on the stream, but but yeah. where can people go to to get that again? To see to yeah, you go to um, meetup.com and then type in Mr. Nice Guy and Superwoman Group, and then I'll add a link to that as well to the event. So um, we'll keep we'll we'll keep that going, and then on April twenty fifth, this Denver Singles Summit, myself and my man right there. Which way? Yeah, right there. Kirk M. Samuels, we will both be speaking at the Denver Single Summit, April 25th. You can just look up uh, Denver Single Summit and go on to Google. Google, it'll come up. But yeah, we'll both be speaking and with a bunch of other amazing people. Laura, uh, Laura Menz is uh, speaking and, and organizing it. And then how many people we got? Like 10 or 12 other speakers as well? Something like that. Something like that. We got, it's, it's, it's a great event. I mean, Denver is a singles town, so we're doing the Single Summit, bringing some some joy and laughter and wisdom to yeah. all of you so it's gonna be dope I, ho I hope you'll show up april 4th for the <laughs> mr nice guy superwoman summit with laura cheadle and me or boom. on april 25th for the Denver single summit so boom i tell you what if you're watching this share it comment like subscribe go to mad men and masculinity page you know like that bad boy follow that bad boy I mean, in the last week, man, our our engagement has gone through the roof. We're excited. Keep uh, it up. We need keep you. It up. Like I said, you know, share it, share it on your page. You know, send this in a messenger to somebody else or whatever. Um, yeah, but, if any y'all uh, know Oprah or Tony, you just send yeah. it their way too. We're you know, we're ready we'll to go. go. I'm ready to be the new Doctor Phil. We'll go with that, man. We need we can get us a Netflix special or something like that, right. man. They don't they don't have a talk show on Netflix. They, they, they don't. 
We need to get one, man. Mm, we, Netflix, we, we, pay attention. Netflix, holla at your boy. Hey, yeah. We got Oprah, the demographic. Holla at your boy. Right Oprah right here. Down on stage. She'll be here this weekend, matter of fact. Um, but uh, anyhow, all right. Well, JBK, I love you, man. I love you, baby. Hey, you, before you go, how can people find you? Oh, man, right here on the bottom of the screen, KirkMSamuels.com. Oh, Boom, KirkMSamuels.com. My phone number is 720-515-6536. But, uh, but yeah, right there, man. Boom. Yeah, in case you can look me up right there and check I'll out the boy. videos. And yeah, check. And if you, we'll actually put the link on here as well for the replay on YouTube. This is yeah. always broadcast to YouTube as well, and then there it'll stay there. So, oh, by the way, we got something in the works. We are yeah. about to, we're about, we're gonna, we're gonna break it all the way down. We're gonna talk strictly about for that. YouTube, it's gonna have the uh parental advisory. Man, uh, we're gonna talk about right. sex in a like keeping it real for real from a man point of view. We can yeah, we got, we got ask for the ladies. You, you asked ask for it. You asked for it, and we're gonna bring it. We're gonna talk about sex on the real, real guys talking about sex is coming up. We it's gonna be like a oh man, we got this whole thing worked out. So y'all tune in. You, tune in for that one. Watch the replay, share it because with our backgrounds, with what Kirk's specialty is, with what mm -hmm. I do, and with our experience, mm -hmm. is this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be real, it's gonna be <laughs> off the I mean, like real rugged and raw. It's gonna be good stuff, man. Yeah. So, anyhow, well, that's uh that, that's good stuff. Thank you all for, for listening, and watching. Like thank I said, so like, much, share, Lisa, subscribe, thank you, everybody else, all that stuff. Yeah, Lisa, psh, get it up there and uh we love you all and we will see you all next time. Uh, Magic masculinity. Peace out. We'll see y'all on the flip side.